Hello everyone, this is Amar. In this video, I will talk about title block of engineering drawing. So let's start the video. So here you can see one drawing sheet. So in this drawing sheet, where is the title block present? So title block is usually present at right side bottom corner of your sheet. Now let's discuss one sample example of this title block. Means what is present inside this title block. So industry to industry this title block may vary. Now let's see one sample example. So here you can see one title block sample example. So here comes your client name. Client name will be mentioned over here. Then the PO number and date. Suppose you are a manufacturer of spur gear and client want to purchase a spur gear from you. Then he will send you a purchase order. So in that purchase order there is a PO number and date. So here you can mention the PO number slash the PO date. Then here bottom you can see the name of firm means name of your organization will come over here. Here will be the logo of your organization. Title means drawing title. Suppose this is a spur gear drawing. So title will be like this spur gear drawing. Drawing number of this spur gear will be mentioned over here. Scale. So what is the scale you use for preparing that spur gear drawing will be mentioned over here. Scale mentioned like 1 is to 1, 1 is to 2 or 0.5 is to 1 like this scale will be mentioned. Sheet. Suppose you are requiring two sheet for preparing this spur gear drawing. Then for first sheet you can write like this 1 of 2. And for second sheet you will write like this 2 of 2. So in this way you can mention the sheet then comes the revision suppose if you are first time preparing the drawing then the revision will be zero and later on it will increase one two three like this here you can see drawn by so the sign of drawn person check by sign of a check person and approved by sign of a approved person similarly the date will be mentioned over here here to the left you can see one table. Suppose you are making this per gear drawing with reference of some old drawing. So the reference number of that drawing will be mentioned over here. Date of that drawing along with the revision will be mentioned over here. Suppose you are using the two reference drawing for preparing this drawing then you can add one more row over here and that you can mention that additional reference drawing number along with date revision. Here comes the weight. What is the weight of this spur gear? You can put over here sheet size. What is the sheet required to create this drawing that will be mentioned over here? So sheet may be A1, A2, A3, A4 like this you can mention. Which sheet you are using for making this drawing. Now here to the top you can see that suppose you send this drawing for customer approval with revision 0 customer will send you some feedback onto your drawing and you want to make changes after that feedback into drawing so here you will say the revision 1 here in description you will mention what are the changes you are making as per the customer feedback here the drawn so person may change here also so drawn by check by approved by and also the date will be mentioned and you will again send this to the approval and customer suppose if want one some more changes then you can go for second revision mention the description and similarly drawn check approve and date will come so this is one sample example of title block hope you understand what is there inside a title block thank you for watching